Good morning, everybody. Today, in our computing lesson, we're going to be working with a program that's called Sumo Paint. If you start with Google and simply type in Sumo Paint, you can go ahead and press Enter, and you'll see that you've got Sumo Paint Online Image Editor. So if I click on that link, I can see at the top here I've got Home, and we're going to go straight over to where it says Paint. Now, Sumo Paint is a super fun way to learn how to use different drawing tools that you'll find in a lot of uh, very, very fancy uh, art uh, types of software. Uh, again, this is free to use. The only restrictions are obviously you won't be able to save any of your projects, but it's a lot of fun uh, to work around with and to play with. Now, if we take a look at the screen to begin with, and uh, the best way to do it is just by starting clicking on some of the different icons over here to see what the tools might be. So if I want to use a pen or a paintbrush, or if I want to use a paint bucket to fill things in, or if I want to draw certain objects, I can click on all those items. So we'll go ahead and we'll simply start where I've got my pen. And up here at the top, I've got my color. So I'll change that pen color to red. And now if I start drawing, I'll have a lovely red color. Now, if I make a mistake, I can always go back up here to where it says edit and click on undo. So if I don't want to have that line there, and in fact, I want to go ahead and draw myself a star. So if I click on the star, you'll see that you've got lots of different ways that you can move that star around. Again, this time the stars will be black in color, but let's say if I don't want that particular color, I want a red star. So I've got my paint bucket right here, and I've got it on the color red. So now I go over to where that star is at, and I click on that star, and now there I have my red star. Oh, but no, maybe red doesn't work. So I'm going to go over here, go along the side until I find a color that I like. Maybe a gold star a little bit uh, might be the nice way to go. Oops, made a mistake there. I'm going to go to Edit, Undo. And now if I fill in my star, it'll be yellow in color. So lots of fun things to take a look at. If you look right below where the star is, there's a lovely symmetry tool which allows you to draw some amazing patterns. And the fun thing about sumo art is there's no right or wrong thing to do. It's just something to try uh, to learn to do some different image work with uh, and see what you can come up with. Now today we're going to import a picture into it, a little bit of mindfulness coloring. So if I go to where it says file and I want to go ahead and open for my hard drive, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the image that you'll have available to upload as well, which says Super Sumo Filling. So here I've got you know, a fairly interesting object, but no color to it. And a lot of times if I were to use all my colors on this or coloring at home, I'd end up using up all my ink. But the fun thing with Sumo Paint is if I use my paint bucket and I begin to fill things in, I can go ahead and click on some different colors, or maybe if I want to stick with yellow for a little bit, I'll put some yellow in these shapes here. Right there. So, oops, let's see. And then maybe I want to change my color where if I go to red, kind of surrounding it, uh, I can put some reds in there as well. So, as you can see today, you can have a bit of fun. Uh, creating your own mindfulness artwork. Now, again, as I said, the only restriction is on this. You can't save your work, but it's a fun way to learn how to use this program today. I hope you enjoy, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Goodbye.